So the 3116 at the demo fight. Hi, everyone. Woohoo, here we are. <laughs> hey, Mr. Johnny. Am I on? You're on. Hi. You hey. are absolutely on. What's up? I said, hey, everyone. We're just getting started, though. So let's see who is joining us. Hi, Barb and Roxana. Great to see you. And Sue in Wisconsin. Oh, look, there's a familiar face right there. I need to fix my hair every time I look in that. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Hey, Jeanette. Hi, oh, Rose. Hey, everybody. I didn't know we were live. How are you? We are live. We are live. Hello. Hello, hello. All right, Chris and Jill, Debbie, Becky, Nancy. Oh, my goodness. It's great to see all of you. Hello, Miss Mava. All right. So welcome to Three Things at Three today. We have something kind of special going on today because Johnny and I are in two different places. And so is Barb. <laughs> Barb is there as well. And so Barb we're going to do... I'm in two different places myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So uh, before we get started, though, with all the fun stuff we have planned today, let's go ahead and give a warm welcome to everyone. So happy to have you here on Three Themes at Three, where theme number one is something to smile about, theme number two is a daily deal, and theme number three, no, theme number two is a how-to. Oh, my goodness. Theme number three is a daily deal. Here we I, I think they know. I think they got it. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Are you singing along with me, Johnny? Yep, I was. You see me dancing? <laughs> mm hmm Yep. So, we need to see it again. So, Johnny, let me uh, let me bring up a picture here to kind of set the backdrop of what's happening. What is going on? Let's see. It is Pinner's Conference going on here in Utah at the Mountain America Expo Center. And it starts officially tomorrow. Am I right, Johnny? Yeah. Yes. And so Johnny is joining us live from Pinner's Conference, but it hasn't really officially begun. You guys have just been doing the setup, right? Yeah, so I'm right here. This is our classroom, the Janome classroom. I'm gonna spin around. Here's our booth. There's Heather. Oh, there's Heather. Heather. Heather! Heather and Sherry sit in the booth. But check this out. There's a big, huge sign there. Welcome to Pinners. And all of these fun vendors are setting up their shops today. Nice. So we're going to be having a ball down here. Oh, wonderful. That is great. Uh, Linda says, yay, she's going tomorrow. Linda, make sure and stop by and say hi to these guys. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So tell us, Johnny, a little bit about what is Pinner's Conference? Pinner's Conference, as far as I know, is for people who use Pinterest. It's for people who pin, right? For people who pin. <laughs> for people who pin. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen all kinds of fun things set up. We have a booth. We have uh, lots of five-yard kit quilts. We have cutie packs. Um, anything that you miss, uh, it's a cutie pack. We have lots here. We okay. cut some special for this event. Uh, again, we have the, a really cute five-yard quilt that I made. Let's I take a look. Help. <laughs> I'm going to show you really quick. Okay. Can't wait Just to see. Just because it's so cute. Ooh, that is cute. What line of fabric is that, Donnie? That is from uh, Rifle Paper Company. I love rifle paper companies. Yeah, and that those fabrics are just gorgeous. Is it from the Nutcracker line or no? Um, 
Yeah, so not cracker line. Okay, yet. nice. And we do have, so we do have a five yard quilt kit for that one. And then we do have a, a full quilt back at the shop. So if anyone wants Ooh, a us, kit us, of that, what's that? Few, show us a few other themes over there. Okay, I, 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 I know you camera could... or no? I know everyone's setting up, so it's not exactly the way it's going to be. No, you want to keep it like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, so I'm gonna say we're gonna say hi to Heather. Hi, Hello, Heather. Everybody. Hello. We have How's it going? Santa. Yeah, we recognize that one. Right. But then look at the one Heather made. She made the yeah. full size version. Yes. Very Isn't nice. Isn't that adorable? Version. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, it Heather is did such so a good job. Cute. Yes. And then we have one more. We have a couple of aprons. Yeah. So a lot of the, hey, let's say hi to Sherry. Sherry, say hi you, to Sherry. Can't, you can't get away without saying hello. <laughs> and then this is the bullseye quilt. Yes. That I had made into a hot pad, but you guys did. What did oh. you, let's see. Let's take an up close look at this. What kind of fabrics did you use here? This is uh, Great Outdoors from Riley the Blake. Great Outdoors. I like it. So a Isn't really cute? cute, yeah, a really cute quilt. If you if you love, um, let's see, the like wilderness kinds of things and the trees. Yes, outdoors. And, what else does it have? It looks like that one. We could have probably hung it right side up. <laughs> what? This fabric is directional. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wasn't you know, paying attention. It's a great conversation piece. What yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, so you, do you have the hot pad I made with it? We have the hot pad. Oh, yes. Let's show. Look at this. This is how different this is. In Christmas Club, we're making that same quilt but just taking one block and making it a hot pad. Or you could do an entire quilt doing the bullseye and have a really cool quilt in those outdoor fabrics, which I love too. Nice. So cute, right? Mm-hmm. So we also want to talk about the fun machines we have in the okay. classroom. Right? So how many classes? I think we're teaching four classes down there. Um, well, six. Three, six. three classes twice, she said. Oh, gotcha. Repeating. Yeah, so each day. Okay. And there will be other classes in the classroom mm -hmm. taught by other teachers. Yes. So, so. We, are the, we are the sewing machine sponsor at oh, this yes. cool event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have here, this is the 3160. Ooh, love it. I love this machine. It's so great. Mm -hmm. uh, needle up down, the thread cutter, all the things that I always say you have to have in your machine, right? Definitely. And it comes with this extension table. Very uh, nice. Such a good deal if people are looking for a secondary machine. So we will have these uh, show models, what we okay. call them? demo models. Yeah. Open event box models. Model, event event models. Event models, yes. So we ordered just in for this event. I think MSRP on them is like $9.99. How much are we selling them for? Can you tell us? I think $4.99. What? Yeah. Serious? Yeah. Right? Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. <laughs> That's a great deal. $4.99. Can we, can we ship them? Yes. The, these are so ones we can. If somebody wants one, yeah. they can call the shop, mm -hmm. call the Sandy store, and we mm -hmm. can ship these. Nice. We also have the Mod 30. But I don't know the price on those. Oh, my gosh. Johnny, you're going to die laughing at this. I just have to bring it up. Can you see the screen? Janet says that Johnny B is an event model. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Here I that am being an event <laughs> Yes. Alice, so when people come on. see us. Go ahead. We... No, we are um, sponsor. We are doing gen all genomi at this event. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So, how many machines do we have to sell, Johnny? I think we have about. How many machines do we have? Twenty. 
Oh, more like 30. 30. 30 yeah. machines. Yeah. The MSRP is $9.99. It is going to yes. be $4.99. And yeah. the pounds, I think Barb might know what the pounds are. On you know how much one. they weigh, Bar Who Barb? Is someone asking this. About 13 pounds. About 13 pounds. So very lightweight. Yeah. And it comes yeah. with the extension table. Yes, comes with that table. Nice. Such a good deal. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, what? Janine. And you know, a walking you foot. You to the East Coast. Yes, with the purchase of your machine, Johnny will come and teach it for you. Absolutely. <laughs> that's right. Um, so, okay, that's a great deal. If you guys are interested, then call the um, call our shops. We can get it for you, yes. Logan or Sandy, either Anyone one. Can look you up. Okay, that is nice, very nice. Can Heidi would like to know what are some of the features once again? Can you uh, tell us some features? It has many built-in stitches, a one-step button hole. Mm -hmm. uh, it can stop automatically. These aren't plugged in right now either, so sorry. Okay. You can stop and needle up or down. I think they're pretty. It has a thread cutter. Mm-hmm. You can slow stop or make it go faster. Mm-hmm. Yes. Speed control. Mm-hmm. I think 60 built-in stitches. Mm-hmm. It has like nine buttonholes. Nice. It's I'm a great little machine. People. I tell people all the time, if I was going to buy another machine right now, that'd be it. Yeah, for sure. Very yeah. nice. So we have all of those. And then we have one that's just lower than that, the Mod 30. And yes. I believe that one is, I want to say $2.99 is the, the pinner. So. That's so this one right that here. One. Okay, so this one's $2.99. This is a Mod 30. It has 30 stitches on it. Yes. Mm hmm Okay. So not as many bells and whistles um, as the 3160, but still a fantastic machine. Definitely. Or if you're looking for a machine for um, a, a child's machine, I would even start with the Mod 30 for sure. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So wonderful. Well, Johnny, what else besides for people who might be interested in attending this conference? And again, it starts tomorrow and goes through Saturday. What are some of the other things that they're going to find at Pinners besides sewing? Oh, I have seen people doing leather work. There are people making jewelry out of spoon, out of silverware. That's just what I can see from right here. There mm -hmm. is uh, all kinds of handmade items, soaps bath bombs, I think literally anything you can think of that you see on Pinterest, you can see here. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's, there's really a lot. hundreds of And it's, it's huge. I've only, I mean, I've very basically just been setting, we've been setting up the booth, but there's probably 20 aisles. Okay. Um, of different things. I remember last year when I went, we I was down at the booth last year, and I got to do a little bit of shopping. I got almost all my Christmas shopping done at Pinner's Conference. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely so you want fun. things that are handmade mm -hmm. and DIY. I did. There's a lot of woodworking there. It's great. There's oh. lots of children if you want some children. <laughs> you want some children. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Well, Johnny, you're going to be there both days, right? Yes. Me so and Barb and Sherry will be here for both days. So come say hi. Definitely. Come say hi to Sherry, Johnny, and Barb and Heather, the four of you. Yes. I don't think Heather will be here as much. Oh, oh not as much. She's going to be working this, yes. this stop. Yes. But you know what's really cool is that the Mountain West. Expo Center is literally down the street from our shop in San. Yeah, it's right down the street. Mm -hmm. But if you come to Pinners, make sure you come say hi and then go say hi to everyone in the store as well. Definitely. Yes. In fact, how about we do this, Johnny? If anyone is watching, and I know obviously this is just for our locals, but if anyone's watching and they come and they say hello to Johnny at the, and say, I, um, I, they, you have to say three at three. Okay. This is the code word. 
Code word. Okay. Code three word, three and three. Okay. Will you, will you give them a special surprise from me? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I'll tell you what that is later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> send there me a text. Go. Tell me what the special prize is. I'll send is. you the text. The special surprise from Chris. If you say, you have to say three at three to right. Johnny. That's the code word. Code word, three at code three. Word. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. All right, Johnny. Is there anything else you want to share with us before I move on to thing number two? Um, th thanks for doing my three at three, two and three today. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Busy setting up here. So <laughs> yes, Chris is covering for me. No problem. I'm happy to do it. I, she says I owe her big time. A big time. Big, big time. Big. <laughs> You're the best, Johnny. Thank you, you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Have <laughs> right. a great day. You bet. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, we'll be in touch. Ah, uh, how fun is that? Oh my goodness, such a great guy. And uh, I have to th do a shout out to my team down there who have been working so hard on preparing for Pinner's Conference. It's not an easy thing to pull together. I mean, you've got not only all the machines to put together and the classes to put together, but then you have, you know, a booth there that you have to have other items. So our team is just incredible. Want to do a shout out to Barb, Heather, Sherry, and Johnny who are working and Mike, Mike and Jacob are down there too, who uh, helped set everything up today. Okay. So um, that was thing number one. How's that? <laughs> I hope that brought a smile to your face today. Moving on to theme number two. Let's do this. So um, theme number two. All right. Theme number two. We've been talking aprons all week, right? So much fun. Uh, have you enjoyed the aprons so far? They, they, we did the gathering apron on Monday. On Tuesday, I showed the child's tea towel apron. Yesterday, they showed the, the, what did we call it? The printer paper apron. So today, I have another new apron for you. And I've got a tutorial for you, all of you as well. So are we ready? Introducing, I've got a, I got a picture here to show you. Today we are going to do, let me find my picture. Oh, right here. The men's shirt apron. Woohoo! And check this handsome boy out. This is our very own Brandon here who was such a good sport to model this for me today. <laughs> He's looking all debonair, right? I, I always say, Brandon, do people tell you you look like Clark Kent? You have been told. I think he looks like Clark Kent. Yeah, totally. Don't you guys think he looks like Clark Kent? <laughs> He's such a good kid. We love Brandon around here. All right. Yes. Elisa says Brandon is a handsome devil. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, he, he's a good one. That's for sure. Um, Laura says, it sounds like I'm getting hoarse just a little bit. I've done a lot of talking this week. Oh, my goodness. So he is a good sport. And when I was putting this together, I said, Brandon, would you be so sweet to model this? And he's like, sure. Like, oh, I just love you. He's like, well, if you would have told me I was going to be a model, I would have asked my wife for her mascara today. <laughs> He's he's a funny guy. So there you go. Susan said the apron is your Superman cape. Brandon, the apron is your Superman cape. <laughs> he likes it. All right. That's right. That's right. So let's uh, take a look. This is what I'm going to show you how to do today. Have you seen these? They're kind of fun. So this is the men's apron from, well, or it could be a women's apron. Obviously, here we go. Doesn't look nearly as cute on me as it did on on Brandon. There we go. Let me pull this out. Okay. Woo. There we go. It is from a men's shirt. Now I have to be careful when I say that because when I was putting this together, I asked Mike, I said, I'm going to make an apron and it's got to be from an old man's shirt. 
He's like, oh, an old man. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I mean, no, no, not an old man. I mean, a men's old shirt. So be careful when you, you that comes out. It's not an old man's shirt. It's a men's old shirt. There you go. <laughs> so it is so simple to do. And I bet if you were to go in your husband's closet or if you were to go to, you know, uh, like the Goodwill or the DI or some kind of um, store like that where you can pick up men's old shirts, <laughs> not old men's shirt, <laughs> um, then uh, this is a really fun, fun project to do. And it's it is so simple. You're just going to just be wowed by how easy this is. All right. Yeah. Good difference in wording, right, Marie? Okay. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, one of the nice things about the men's shirts is oftentimes they already have like a double seam going down on this, their side. And so, um, that really helps because the sewing on this is very, very minimal. All right. So let me grab another men's shirt. <laughs> and I'm going to bring this down. And let's deconstruct this together, shall we? All right. So here's the shirt and I'm going to cut it apart. So you can see the collar is up here. What you want is a button down shirt with a collar. Now, again, what I mentioned before is that you many of these men's shirts have a double seam. So if you just slide your scissors right along that, oh, it just makes this project so, so easy. So we need to cut this apart, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm over on the side. I find where that double seam is, and I begin to cut. No, it's kind of scary, right? Like, oh no, can't believe I'm cutting this nice shirt. Well, it is a nice shirt, but it's an old shirt. An old shirt that no longer fits, right? Okay. So I'm just going to kind of rest my scissors right along there. Come up. And then I'm to the armpit area. I'm going to go through the armpit and around where that armhole is. Again, just following that double seam line. This part is actually going to be cut off a little bit later, so if it's it's okay if it's not perfect. I'm going to come up to the shoulder area. Uh, let's see, right here. And I'm going to cut across the shoulder. See, this is where the collar is. I'm going to cut across the shoulder up towards uh, where the collar is. Okay, let's see, there we go. Now it's important that you don't you're, you don't want to cut the collar off. So make sure you don't go past where the collar is. You're just now going to go down and around the collar because the collar is the where the neck uh, hangs on your neck, just like a regular collar would do, right? So I'm just coming around. I'm gonna kind of play with this here for a minute, make it a little easier on me. Do you see the collar is still intact? So I'm gonna come around and cut this. And I'm getting to the shoulder area once more on the other side, cut down. Now I'm into the armhole. Okay, again, here's the collar. I'm trying to make sure everyone can 
visualize this. Okay, here's the collar. And now I came across the shoulder and I need to cut down around the armhole and then down the, the second side. This apron, you will literally get done in about 30 minutes. There we go. I'm just going to kind of rip that out of my way. And then I come the rest of the way down. Okay. Nice. Do a little cleaning up here. If you go right along the edge you won't have to hem this because you have that seam already sewn. Now, this is the back side of it. Save it for later, all right? And we will use that later. So now you can see I have, oh, let's see here, the start of my apron. You see that? This is gonna fit around my neck. If I need it open bigger, I can just unbutton this. All right. Okay. So with that being done and the arms are cut off, the back is cut off. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to fold this in half, directly in half, so that the armholes lie right on top of one another. All right because I'm going to cut my sides at the very top to be angled. And so I can do that, uh, both of them at one time, if I will fold it and put it one on top of the other. Okay. So let me get myself situated here. There we go. You want it to lay nice and flat. Make sure your, um, your collar is out of the way. Let me pull this out. All righty. Okay, so with the armholes on top of one another, what you'll do now is take your ruler and you're just going to um, line this up with the top like the top shoulder area, you're gonna line it up here and you're gonna take it down below where the armpit is. So you just want it at, a, at an angle. Pull this down, there we go. Okay. All right, so my angle's right here. It's like my angle is just touching the inside, like as that curves in, my ruler is touching there. And then this is the natural um, diagonal that comes from there. So I like to touch the inside and then I bring it up and I'm going to cut it off. So let me grab my rotary cutter. There we go. And now my apron, the next step of it is ready. Like this. Now it's time to just go ahead and uh, finish these cut edges. Okay, that's the only thing we have to hem. Everything else has been hemmed already. So the only thing we have to do is hem these edges. So what I'm gonna do is just fold over once and over again and just do um, two long hems. And I won't even take the time. Let me grab my iron here. Get that out of the way. I won't take the time to actually iron it, but you could. Okay. So again, I'm going to go here and then over one more time. So let me get this computer ready. 
There we go. All righty. So I just fold over a little bit and then I just fold it over again. And this is going to be my hem. You could pin this or, um, oops, that came unthreaded. Hold on. You could pin it or you could just fold it over as you go, either way. And so I'm going to just fold it over as I go. It's just a very, very small hem. If you have a serger, this is a great time to use your serger. You see how I just kind of grab it and then bring it over. Grab it, pull it to the right, and do this. You can do a rolled hem, absolutely. on this table bouncing, so I apologize for the noise. Okay, and it takes you right up to the top of the collar. All right. So there's the hem. And I'll press it with some steam. And now it's time to do the other side. Do a back stitch. All righty. Okay, guys. The front, whoops, sorry for my hand. <laughs> Apologize. The front of this is done. I mean, can it get any simpler, right? And the bottom is already, you know, hemmed. I mean, how cute is that, right? How fun! So, how do you do the ties? Super simple. What you're gonna do, let me bring this over. Ooh, that's not a good angle. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, how you do the ties is now you're going to take the other half of that shirt that you would cut apart. And what I want you to do is cut two, six, and a half inch strips from the back widthwise. So you could do it from here, you could do it this way, either way that you want is just fine. Um, you know, it will depend on like how long you want the ties to go. You could do a few strips and sew them together if perhaps you have a larger um, person that it needs to fit on. But I'll go ahead and bring this down and I'm just gonna use the edge of my ruler for this. I'm 
Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to use this ruler as my template because it happens to be six and a half inches. So I've cut one and I will cut a second one. So I have two straps. Okay. Now, when you're doing straps, this is something that we always do on straps, right? We usually will just fold it in the center lengthwise, give it a finger press, open it up, bring this out, or excuse me, bring the out in towards the middle, fold the other side towards the middle, and then you fold it one more time. So it's like folding it into thirds. Okay, and now I have a strap. And I just do a straight stitch all the way down to hold this together and a straight stitch over here. So one more time, on when we do straps, we go down, do a finger press so that it's going down the center, open it up, bring one side in towards the center, press, uh, you could finger press or you could use an iron, you could use a fabric folding pin, any of those things will work. Okay, I'm gonna go like this, and now one more time. And there you have it, that's how you do a strap. And then all you do is you just sew this down and then you're going to sew this to, let's see, at the bottom of your armhole. So it goes to here. Let's see. Hold on. So here's this. Your armhole is this way. So once that strap is done, you just simply sew it at the end, and now you have two straps. So I'll show you again the finished one. Whoops, not this one. Here we go. I think this would be a really cute, um, even a, like a bridal shower gift. If you um, wanted, you know, dad's old shirt to you know, for his daughter or even her fiance's shirt. That would be cute. You know, you could do lots of fun things with this idea. So the straps are just sewn onto the sides. That's it. All right. When I sew my straps onto the sides, one little tip I have to share with you is I always sew. Let's see. I bring the, the strap I sew it on here going into the apron and then I bring it out to outside the apron and do one more stitch. It just kind of it, it um, covers that raw edge. Okay, so that's just a little tip. When you sew on straps, sew them going towards the towards the apron, not outside yet. Do a stitch, bring it back on top of itself, do another stitch, and now you have a nice clean edge. All right. So that is that. And Brandon, can I get you to come back one more time? Why not? <laughs> Encore. Encore with Brandon. Brandon is our bookkeeper here, and he is the best sport ever. Let's take a look. Let's hear it for Brandon. Here we go. See, look how cute that is. There we go. Very nice. What do you think, Brandon? That's very nice. Would like you do it. some more cooking for your wife in the kitchen oh, if yeah. you had something like this? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I could keep spoons in here you in the pocket. <laughs> that's right. Or snacks. There you go. Snacks. 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 Yeah, that, that's even better. <laughs> even better. Isn't that cute, you guys? They're all saying thanks, Brandon. Looks great. <laughs> All right, so that is our tutorial for today on this Thursday of um, Apron Week. Woohoo! All right. Oh my goodness, let's see. Get myself situated here. Bravo for being a good sport, they're all saying, Brandon. <laughs> all right.
Nice job. Oh, I love that. Marianne said that she made these for her dad in the nursing home to use. Less embarrassing than a bib. Oh, that is actually really sweet. I like that, Marianne. Very easy to wash. Very comfortable on the skin because it's like, it's as if you were just wearing, you know, a shirt, right? <laughs> Don't we wish, Janine? Janine says, deal of the day is old men's shirts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, too funny. All right. Oh, yes, definitely. A great smock for painting, too. I like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All righty. Any questions besides the old men's, man's shirt? <laughs> too funny. Oh, Alice, I love this idea. She says, I'm going to make some out of my brother's shirts who passed away for my nieces. I love that. Mm, I love that so much. Great barbecue idea, uh, apron. Mm -hmm. Larry says, daddy's shirt. Yep. Great memory apron with your daddy. Definitely. I love that. All right. Oh, yes. Tana, a jean shirt would be great with lots of space for embroidery. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely, Gloria. Would be super cute in a Hawaiian shirt. Definitely. I love that. Very good idea. Christy says, I was thinking my granddaughter or grandson could make those for a gift for their dad. I love that, too. Yep, Heidi says, for the man who has everything. Very good. Um, Laura, husband passed away, will make for my daughters. I love that, Laura. I love that so much. And Jill is going to head to the thrift store tomorrow. Very nice. Yay. All right. Well, that is that. Um, any other questions I can help answer? I hope that... Uh, we can have fun with theme number two today. Let's see. There we go. Theme number two. Tomorrow is one more apron pattern. And I'm excited to tell you that Jenny is going to be hosting three at three for us tomorrow. So should be fun. She's going to be hosting it from her home. Can't wait to see what she comes up with. All right, everyone. So we've done theme number one and we've done theme number two. It's time for theme number three. All right, theme number three. Here we go. Let's let me pull up my three here. There, there we go. All right, so it's actually nothing is for on sale today for theme number three. I mean, we've got lots of things on sale always, right? But we decided that today we are just going to have you a free download for everyone. So you can download your free men's shirt apron tutorial on mygirlfriendsquiltshot.com. If you go to deal of the day, that is where you'll find the download. It's free for everyone. And all I did was I took photographs of each step that I just showed you. So there you'll see, um, a handout of all the different photographs step by step. It really is one of probably the most simple apron you'll ever make. And just think you didn't, you know, you have really everything you need. So kind of nice, right? So there you go. Download your free men's shirt apron tutorial on our website. Uh, Sharon asks, can you use shore? And I think you're saying short sleeve and the answer would be yes, absolutely. You can use short sleeve because if you think about it, we didn't even use the sleeves. So, you know, you could have a lot of fun with this by, um, you know, maybe turning uh, this into little pockets or, I mean, you could just I could think of all sorts of uh, things going through my head right now of some of the fun stuff that you could do. So if you make them, post it on Friends of My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. We'd love to see what you guys um, come up with. So, all right. 
Okay, well, we've got a few more minutes and uh, let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> Laura says to rest my voice tonight. <laughs> um yeah i i don't think i have i'm i don't think i have any more teaching for a few days so that'll that'll be helpful right <laughs> oh what a great idea d said that she um oh whoops here we go uh she saw sleeves used for wine covers oh that's interesting i've never seen that but i bet you certainly could <laughs> isn't it funny what people can come up with it's just incredible so yeah becky says to get some cough drops before tomorrow hey becky i where are your cough drops i need them <laughs> at tug becky gave me some cough drops they are wonderful but yeah because i was using my voice so much <laughs> all right um yeah warranties still work the same on embroidery machines even if you live far from the shop it's it's all done through you know the manufacturer so no worries any local retailer will be able to take care of you so yeah all right what are some other questions yep i totally agree gloria great for the environment repurpose why not right why not Elisa says that would never fit my 70 pound pit bull. <laughs> nope, it sure wouldn't. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys have, you have the best um, ideas. Honey and lemon hot tea, lemon sugar free. Mm-hmm, definitely. Debbie says, or her 90 pound lab. <laughs> Did someone talk about putting them on dogs? earlier did i miss that oh there we go tana use the sleeve for a dog coat oh <laughs> yeah not the big ones right <laughs> you know if you want that men's shirt to be you know even more loose or larger you're just gonna you know find a bigger size you know look for um you know a 3x extra large tall or something like that so yes Annette, definitely. She's going to have to go to the DI. That's a just a, a thrift store here in town and, and buy Brent's shirts back. Oh, <laughs> that would be pretty special, Annette, if you found those, huh? <laughs> For sure. All right. Oh, yay. Shauna said, Ann Bill did a great tutorial today on Candy Cane Lane bench pillow. That's wonderful. I heard she was dressed up like a candy cane. I can't wait to go back and watch. She is a riot, isn't she? I love that. Yep. Nancy says, great class with Ann Bill. That's wonderful. I will definitely pass that on to her. She's amazing. All right. Anything else I can help answer? We're, we finished a little early today, but if there's anything else I can help with, let me know. All right. Well, I think we go. Where would we find that class? Lynn is asking. It's on um, our website. If you just put in Candy Cane Lane, you'll be able to find it there. All right. Okay. If there's not anything else, I guess we'll just end a little bit early today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've had fun. I hope you've learned something new, new today and maybe or were reminded of a fun idea. So yeah, definitely. Um, we appreciate each time you show up. So, and for those of you who are interested in those machines from Pinner's Conference, they will be available after Saturday. So they're just being used for some small classes today and or Friday and Saturday. And then we will clean them up like they're brand new. It's the same warranty as if it were brand new. And, um, and you'll be able to um, get a, a great deal on those machines. So if you are looking for the Janome Mod 30, it's going to be $299. And the Janome 3160 is uh, $499. So great, great deals today. Uh, Barb is asking if the other aprons are still available. Apron patterns are still available. Available. Yes, they are. If you are, but they were only 
they were discounted just for the day of the 24 hours of the three at three. However, if you're a club member, they are free all the time, but it's just a, just a very small price for those who um, are still looking for those. Okay. All right. Lila said, will you please post a photo of the September fat quarter friends log cabin table runner? Yes, I can. I don't have that with me right now, Lila, but I will, we'll see if maybe Allison can get that posted for sure. All right. Okay. Thanks everyone for today. And uh, until I see you again, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, get some fresh air. And of course, keep sewing. Bye everyone. Love you all.